Mark will check back with you soon. Thanks. Hardin County Schools pulled a PE teacher out of class after students accused him of walking in the girls locker room as they were dressing. WDRB's Comrie Delouche explains why parents say it took too long for the district to act. Gilbert, the incident at Central Hardin High School happened more than a week ago. One mother I spoke to says she tried to reach the school, but no one responded. Yesterday, she marched up to the building. She goes, he actually did it. And I said, who, who did what? And she said, my gym teacher walked in. Kara Schultz says the past week has been a nightmare. She's scared and she shouldn't be. She's a 14 year old girl who should not have that kind of fear in her learning environment. Schultz says her daughter's gym teacher, Brian Walters, remained in the classroom at Central Hardin High even after being accused of walking into the girls locker room to yell at them to be quiet while students were still dressing. She says she called the school repeatedly but received no response. So Tuesday, Schultz went to the school where she says she was told they'd already looked into the allegation. And I said, did you interview my daughter? And he goes, well, no, we chose the students at random that we were going to interview. And I said, so you didn't talk to my daughter? And he said, no. I immediately felt this like strong sense of like violation. Schultz says that led to more interviews, including speaking with Ashley Fox's daughter. According to my daughter, he walked in and yelled at them. Fox says she didn't even know the incident happened until Tuesday. Now she's left shaken. Who you choose to show your body to should be your decision. The same day Fox's daughter was questioned, Walter was still on campus. The school district says initially when they looked into the allegation, they didn't see a reason for Walters to leave campus. But as of Wednesday, he was replaced with a substitute for the investigation. I think they were kind of put in a tough spot by not having the information that reflected poorly on them. But now that we understand what happened, they really care about getting to the bottom of it and keeping our kids safe. The school did release a statement saying that the district is aware of an allegation regarding Brian Walters. We will follow the appropriate protocols as a result of the allegation. With photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, Conroy Deluche, WDRB News.